Hello Explorers, welcome back. So we are doing Super Bucks Sunday. I did go to the bank. Uh, this is $100. Obviously, um, it's not all going to be usable because I don't do K and I don't do I, but I have not gone through this yet. So, um, and this money is actually coming from the fact that I got my YouTube check and I've only done one cash stuffing with my YouTube check. I just finally went to the bank and pulled some more of it out. Ooh, there's quite a few in here that we're not going to be able to use. You know what? Let's do this. Let's start at least putting these where they belong. B, C, D, E, F. So... Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm filming this on Saturday night. It's six o'clock at night. Um, I don't normally film late like this, but we've been gone all day because as I mentioned, I have friends coming uh, Monday. So we're gonna spend all day Sunday, the day that you're watching this, um, cleaning the RV, doing laundry. We're even washing the kids like bed, like their mattress, we took it outside and like uh, power washed it um and then we're washing all the bedding and everything just so their room smells nice and fresh um and because kids are nasty <laughs> like they know the rules for our room they are not allowed to get in our bed unless they stop in our bathroom first and wash their feet and their hands um and like I don't allow street clothes in our bed or anything like that but in their bed, they don't have those same rules for their bed. Um, so I just, I don't know. I, maybe it's just because I'm like a clean freak when it comes to this kind of stuff. Like it just grosses me out. So we took their bed, like I said, we took their mattress down and took it outside and like power washed it. So it is currently in the sun drying. It's on top of the table though. So it's not like it's uh, like sitting on the ground or anything. Ugh, that'd be gross. Um, and... Yeah, we uh, went to the store and got all the drinks and stuff because the hibachi brings, um, the hibachi chef will bring all of the food and the sake, but we have to provide the tables, the drinks, like any kind of other beverage, um, plates, napkins, cups, that kind of stuff. So we went to a couple of places and got that. Um, and then I also went to, we went to Epcot. And I picked up my friend's, my friend that's coming, she has an annual pass for Disney, but her kids didn't. Um, so I went and picked those up for her kids so that she can start making their, um, re like get all their reservations and everything. So yeah, that's what I've been doing all day. And while you guys are watching this, I'm going to be doing laundry and doing dishes and cleaning and just... All of the cleaning. All of the cleanings. We've actually never had anybody over at our RV before. Like, literally ever. Um, when we were in Mississippi, our friends, like, they came to help us, you know, they, like, moved our RV. Um, but the only time they came inside was to go to the bathroom. So, we've never actually had somebody over. So, this can be our first time. And I'm pretty excited. Um, especially because we live in a place that's, like, warm. And if we get bored after, because the hibachi chef will be here till 5.30, if we get bored after, we can always just go hit up Disney because all of us will have passes. Except her husband, but he can go back to the hotel. Because <laughs> um, she's not buying him a pass because he doesn't come on most... He usually comes if they do like this, where they do a vacation. Whereas she comes a lot and brings the kids because she's like me, we do influencing full-time. Her husband's a mechanic, though, so he can't just always get off work. No, no, it's not clean yet. So, let me see. How much do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six dollars in this um, that are not usable. So that will go back in my money pouch. So, what I'm going to do is we had a ten dollar star note and a one dollar star note. So, I'm going to go ahead and put those in there. And this will go into money that gets cash stuffed. So, all right, 
let's start. So we have two A bucks. I did not print an A buck tracker. Um, I will get around to that. So we'll just put those in the envelope. Make sure I don't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 A bucks. All right. B bucks. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 B bucks. Oh my goodness, you guys, we needed 13 to finish this. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm going to see if. I actually pulled 150 in ones. Um, I'm going to see if there is a B buck in one in the 50 that I pulled. There is. Okay. So I'm going to take this star note and it will go into next week's cash stuffing. All right, so 13, which means we're finishing B box. So that should be 25. Um, this is really exciting. Because that means that this gets to go into the birthday fund. Um, I don't know what birthday fund it's going to go into. It will probably go into mine. And then if I don't need it, because I don't think I'm going to. The only thing that I need for my birthday is uh, flights, and I think that's going to come out of the flight fund. So this will probably just get reallocated into uh, Lennox's birthday, because that will be the next birthday that we're paying for. So, yeah, I'm very excited, though, to have them over. Um... My, I let my kids clean their own room, which, I mean, I always make them clean their own room, but then every once, every couple of months I go in there and I, like, reorganize because they clean, but they don't necessarily put things back proper. A lot of times things will get shoved in drawers and then, you know, whatever. So, I they cleaned their room, but I think if I have time tomorrow after I'm done cleaning the rest of the house and, like, wiping down floors and surfaces and stuff, um... I'm going to, if I have time, go in there and, like, actually organize and deep clean their room. So, because she's got three little kids that'll be, she's got three kids that'll be coming over to play with my kids as well. So. Yep, that is that. just signed another partnership you guys um I went from like nothing to I do not have like a single day off in November let me see if I have enough battery to show you my November schedule it's so crazy so this is my November whoa I always forget you can't see it like that this is my November is it gonna focus maybe I don't know this is my November I have uh the 5th through the 7th looks, ooh, the 5th through the 7th looks like it's empty, but I actually, I mean, the 5th through the 8th looks like it's empty, but I just found out that I have something from the 8th to the 11th, so this, what I have in my calendar from the 9th to the 12th actually is getting moved to the 4th through the 8th, so really the 1st through the 14th is booked, um, and then the 5th, 17th, 21st, 22nd, I'm waiting to find out which of those two days I have this other partnership. Um, they just have to confirm. So two of those four days will be taken up, which leaves me the last week of November open. That's it. And then we're gone the second. So we have the 24th through the 1st open, and then we're gone the second through the 13th in Mexico. So yeah. But I love it, you guys. I never, never in my wildest dreams that I think that I would be able to fill a calendar like this. One, two, I'm just going to make sure there's 25 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And the reason I say that is because, yes, I have done this for six years. Um, however, I've always lived in Vegas. Well, I guess I should say seven years. We're almost at seven years now. 
Um, yes, I've, but I've always lived in Vegas and all of these types of events that I'm doing and all of these like paid like experiences and local partnerships and stuff were always in California. And so I either didn't get invited to them or I couldn't go because Corey would have to work because they always landed on a day he had to work. Um, plus I've noticed the events in California, like they never paid. Whereas all of the experiences that my manager is getting me here in Florida are paying. And it's so nice. Like I'm actually getting paid to travel. Um, it's just, it's amazing. And I'm, I absolutely love what I do. And it's just gotten so much better. My opportunities are so much better being in Florida. I'm, I'm loving it. So let's see what we have for Seabucks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Seabucks. So that puts us, this is 10, 11, 12 right here. So definitely not finishing C bucks, which is okay because this one was just going to go into um, car emergency anyways. So not really, it's not like we need it right this second because um, it's going into more of a long-term sinking fund versus like a monthly spending type of sinking fund. And so those ones I'm not really in a rush to complete. I do think I'm going to change some stuff up pretty soon here. Uh, not this binder. I don't, this binder is not going anywhere. I truly love doing this. I might get rid of the minis. I feel like they're getting redundant and, um, I don't know. I just, I personally don't like watching minis. I mean, if you guys want me to, I, I like doing them. Don't get me wrong. I actually like doing the minis and I like all the little mini wins that you get from them, but I don't watch other cash stuffers minis. Um, other than the people that I just make sure I always support because they've always supported me. But personally, I don't enjoy watching Minnie's videos. Um, so I don't know, maybe I'm alone in this, but if you guys don't enjoy Minnie's the way that I don't enjoy them, watching them, let me know because I will certainly get rid of that video because I've been thinking about getting rid of it. So we have 12, 13, and 14. So we're not bundling in C books. So let's see. D is for debt. Can we finish D? Please tell me we can finish it. We need 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Not again. Not again. Okay, so we're going to see if we can find a D book in here because I want to just finish it. And this, like I said, I took out 150 in ones because I knew I would need ones to cash stuff with. And yes, I could have came in with one in the mashup video. But I don't know. I just didn't want to. So I'm going to go ahead and take this 10 that we had uh, originally put in there. Uh, no, we'll just leave it. We'll leave it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's just make sure there's 25 in total. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to change up the way I do my budgeting. I really, really desperately need to. My binders are fine, but I need to get back to actually budgeting um, instead of just spending and then trying to figure out where to pull the money from. It's something I've been really bad about since uh, Corey, you know, stopped working. We've kind of stopped budgeting. I haven't been putting money away for groceries. I haven't been putting money away for gas. So instead, like as my paychecks come through, I've just been kind of paying those on the credit card as I can. Um, and I don't want it to be that way. I don't want it to be where I'm paying it after the fact. I want to make sure that I'm planning for it. So I just need to get better at budgeting again. Um, my goal was to pay off the credit card, but honestly, I don't think that's really a goal anymore. I definitely want to pay it down, but as long as we continue to spend on it, we're never going to pay it off. Um, so I don't know. I'm debating between, I go back and forth between like wanting to go back to using cash while we try to pay it off. Um, because then we could actually get it paid off. And 
wanting to just leave it the way that it is because even though it's got a high balance on it, like, it's fine. Um, we earn cash back on it, so I don't know. I don't know what I want to do right now, but what I'm doing is that it's, if I'm going to keep doing it the way that I'm doing it, then I have to get it out of my head that I'm going to pay it, that pay it off because I'm not. Or I need to just budget better so that we can actually keep using it, but pay it off because at least at, the only way to pay it off and still use it is if we stop adding unbudgeted expenses on there, which means we need to get back to budgeting. But trying to do two different things that contradict each other is not is not working. It's not going to work. So ebooks, we only have four. So that's all that's going into ebooks. Which is fine because this is not a priority by any means. Um, so we have one. So I don't know. I keep going back and forth on what I want to do. Like one day I'm like frust I'm so stressed out that it's max that our credit cards are maxed out. Um and then and so I'm like, screw it, we're going back to cash, we're gonna budget, we'll use cash and we'll pay off these credit cards. And then the next day I'm like, no, it's working just fine. Like get over the fact that they're not paid off. You're not paying interest on them because of how much I put on them every month. But then the day after that, I'll go back to being frustrated and I'll be like, you know what, my next check that comes in, I'm just going to pay it off completely because I can. I can take any number of my checks and just pay off the credit card completely in, but I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. So ebooks, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine towards the next bundle. F bucks. So F, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 F bucks. That is, that is crazy. So we're definitely bundling. So this would be 10. This would be 20. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Puts us right here. If you guys have any recommendations on what I should do, let me know. I think the problem isn't not knowing how to do something because I definitely know I just go back and forth on what I want. Do I want it paid off but having to go back to using cash and budgeting and everything? Do I want to keep using my credit card but just make sure that I'm budgeting so that I'm not putting unbudgeted expenses on there and that way I can actually like pay it down? Or do I want to just keep you know, considering it a bill every month that I pay on um, with challenges that I complete. And that way I, you know, can continue to use it. I just don't know. I think the only reason I ever get frustrated with the fact that I feel like I don't make progress on it is because I feel like I'm not making any accomplishment like every month it's the same thing of putting you know paying a thousand dollars on it and then the very next month I'm right back in the same position but I also know that the reason it's that way is because we use it like so I don't know I guess I feel like I'm not getting ahead on it but I also know how to fix that and I just the fact that I don't do it tells me that like I don't know. I don't know. It's really just making a decision and sticking with it and being okay with whatever decision I make. So. Maybe if I have like a really good month, I will just pay it off instead of, because currently I have a notebook that I write down every single, um, ex like thing that we spend on the credit card. I write it in that notebook. And then when I go to make payments, I go through and I cross off those things. I'm like, okay, this is paid. This is paid. This is paid. This is paid. Whenever I make a payment on the credit card. Um, so if anything, Disney comes up on there, like we've been using the Disney or we've been using it at Disney lately instead of the gift card, because I just haven't bought a gift card in a while. Um, 
then I go into the Disney envelope and I pull all of the Disney and I will pay that right away and so I'll cross off all of those so that I know like I've already paid the credit card back for those. But the problem is because the last two months have been a little difficult, um, previously whenever we would make like a grocery purchase a gas purchase I would consider those like bills so I would be as soon as my paychecks came into the bank account I would pay the credit card off for any um grocery like I don't cash it up I don't do challenges or anything for that I would pay them back immediately for anything we spent at like Walmart or the Wawa where we get gas um because I consider them a bill and I don't let bills accumulate on the credit card like every month my um our Disney passes come on the, or get charged to the credit card every single month. And both of our insurance, the RV insurance and the truck insurance, both go straight to the credit card. Uh, it's just the way that I have them set up. But because those are a bill and I know when they come, as soon as they come, like I already have the money sitting in the bank account waiting for that money to uh, charge to the credit card and I pay it immediately. So it's, um, it's actually Disney. Both of our insurances, like the car insurance, the RV insurance, our storage unit in Vegas, and then two of our apps that we have for our YouTube channel, um, those are all bills that get paid immediately. So those do not accumulate on the credit card. Uh, so that's what I had been doing with, like I said, like gas and groceries as well. But because the last couple months have been a little bit of a struggle, pretty much like since August, just because of my surgery, it really, really made things hard. I mean, I was down for six weeks. Um, and then prior to that, we had just started, you know, building back up after emptying everything out from the engine and the high pressure fuel pump and the starter on the truck. So, uh, because of being low on funds, I hadn't been paying the credit card back for those things. So that's how basically the progress we've made has set us back again. But I'm thinking, I don't, I just, I don't know you guys. I just don't know what to do. I know how to fix it. I just have, like I said, I have to make a decision. Okay. I couldn't remember if I pulled the extra one or not to make this 25. Why did I pull this out? Oh my goodness. We didn't finish it. We just bundled. My goodness. Okay. So we have a bundle of F bucks. So that will go in the safe. So now towards our next bundle, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 dollars. That's amazing. All right, G is for gas. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 G bucks. So 10, 11, 12 puts us right here. Which means we should be bundling. Yes. I, I watch um, Marlene with Snow Gardener 307, and I really enjoy the way that she does her uh, debt payoff. Like, she gives herself goals, she breaks it down, and I enjoy that, but the problem is, like I said, I still use my credit card. So that's where I'm like, should I just stop using it until we get it paid off? But then I also get super impatient when I'm actually trying to pay it off. Like, if I were to stop using it, use cash and just pay off the credit card, then I get really impatient and I'm like, screw this. I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to take a check and wipe out the balance because that's what I've always done in the past because I'm like, I just, I don't have the patience to keep making little payments when I have the ability to just pay it off completely. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like I'm, I'm frustrated with const every month paying towards the credit card and making no progress because we're spending as much as we're paying on it. So, I don't know. I'm really heavily leaning towards if uh, once I have uh, regular pay again, just taking a one of them and just putting it on the credit card. But then, the, the reason that I don't do that is because I'm like, that's money that I could have cashed off. 
Like, <laughs> so do you guys see where my dilemma is? Because I'm like, but I could have cashed up that money. And I could have done challenges and then paying off debt would be more fun. Even though I have um, three checks coming on November 3rd, I cannot use those three checks to pay it off because I've already started spending in those three checks since they are so delayed. Um, so if I were to take those to pay off the credit card plus pay back the um, challenges that I borrowed the cash from in order that, you know, with that, what would happen is I would basically be exactly where I am right now. Where it's like, okay, now I have no money left. So, we have, I don't even remember how much we have. Okay, let's count this. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I know that I am rambling, but this is how I talk through things. And I, I feel like sometimes talking, first of all, saying it out loud helps me. Sometimes just talk through it myself. But also, sometimes you guys have really good ideas that I haven't thought of. And so that's very helpful too. So I only had one H buck. I swear, you guys, we never get H bucks. But that's okay. I'm not really in a super hurry for this. Would be nice because we have actually had to buy a lot of stuff for the house lately. Um, so... Just keep running out of things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. So three more and we'll bundle. And then we will have one bundle left. All right. L books. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, we need to do J. J just doesn't have a tracker. So we have five J bucks and we bundled last time. So there's six in J. I did check. We, this is our, uh, we need this bundle. So we've got nine L bucks. What color do we want to do? I think we need to do like a, maybe like a purple. Not this one. I think maybe we already did that one. Maybe. Let's do this like, uh, you know what? I never use mint. Let's use this mint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, eight, and nine. So I'm sorry if uh, this was super boring for you guys, <laughs> but it's it, sometimes you just got to talk through some stuff. All right, so let's see. I think we're gonna bundle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We are not. And I'm not going to pull two L bucks because it's not even going to complete it. So it doesn't make sense. Next is Star Notes. We're adding a $10 bill into Star Notes. So let's see what we have now. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I am going to leave it though because there's a 10 and a 5 in there. So that is officially all that I have for letter books. What did we finish? We finished B and D. So still don't get to pull either one of these in there. That is all right. So we have two bundles and we finished two challenges. That's so exciting. I love finishing challenges, you guys. So now we can put these in here. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they're going to fit. You know what? I think I need to take this out and then I can fit my challenges in here. Alrighty. Oh, I might still be able to. I don't know. I need a second pouch just because of that book. It's just that book. I'm going to leave the book out. 
Alrighty guys, that is officially all that I have for you today. And I will see you back here tomorrow. So until next time, bye.